There it is, the sun is out. There it is. We did the Instagram this morning early at dawn. A little bit because there's a little bit of pressure on the program this morning. I have to do an introduction for a pilgrimage today at 7.15, so I need to get all this posted and up on on YouTube also. So one step at a time. And here we are enjoying this beautiful sunrise on Sunday morning. I was thinking to take you over here to the little walkway to get that feel of walking out towards the boats. Something special for Sunday morning. A few clouds in the sky. There was actually a lot of cloud over here this morning at dawn along the southern part there of the Golan over Jordan. Visibility isn't 100% because you can't see Mount Hermon. It can be better, but it's good. A little bit of haze out there. Here are all the birds. Something funny happened yesterday. <laughs> One of the pilgrims has four little labs, Labradors. And apparently with the recording of the birds, you can hear them here up in the trees. And they're chirping away. So the, the four labs really got excited. So somebody is claiming now that there are our sunrise stroll in chat dog fans. So you never know what happens in this, in this scenario. So here we have all these big boats. Sometimes you don't get to see boats like what they're like underneath. See the blades. And the rudder. And the exhaust. Amazing. All this equipment is pretty nice boat, I imagine. And the carrier for with double wheels. So it's probably kind of heavy. I'm not into selling boats, people. I'm just admiring the workmanship and the skills and the level, the technology. And creation, God said, multiply and accomplish dominion of the earth. Here you see it's it's exercising dominion. It's more comfortable than these stones to sit on, but that'll work. Sorry people, I forgot the Wi-Fi. Some of you got cut off, but I'm back. Hope you're back. People, I'm terribly sorry. We had 42 people and now we're down to 16. But I hope we'll climb up there a little bit again. I'm not sure there was a break in the transmission here, even though I had it was already working after the switch from the Wi-Fi to, to data to 4D, 4G. So this morning we have a lot of pilgrims in our readings and especially Nam and the Syrian and I should have pointed that out to you beforehand but let me try and do it here because I can see it personally but let's see if we can get it on the camera behind that left of that big tree there I don't know if we can zoom in a bit more yes I'm going to get to the very center of the screen you can make out a bare green a bare gray little height there in the center over the Golan and that's within the present day boundary of with Syria. And we have Naaman the Syrian. And he's coming to Elisha the prophet. 
And as you might remember, Alicia is just south of Bet Shean in present day West Bank in the Palestinian territory. So down uh, there you have Jordan across at the end, but we just followed the Jordan Valley southward. And it's about 45 minutes probably to uh, less than an hour, 45 minutes close, between 45 minutes and an hour to get down to Alicia's home turf. And then you had, in that process, you had um, Naaman coming and obviously Alicia has to be close to the Jordan because it's a go down and wash at the Jordan. And the story today is Naaman's cure and his gratitude. And he comes back and he's so grateful. And then Naaman wants to give all kinds of beautiful gifts to, to Elisha. And Elisha won't have it. No way. I, this, all the glory is God's. I didn't do anything. It's God is doing it through me. You see, Elisha is really arriving at a very high point of his own pilgrimage. Because when Elijah called him, he went off and he wanted to go back and say goodbye to his family. He wanted to make a party for his friends. And he wanted to, uh, he, he came then to follow Elijah. And he asked when Elijah was leaving for heaven, he wanted a double portion of his spirit. And we know all that story at the Jordan. And Elisha is growing more and more into the mystery of God. From the farming boy he was plowing in the fields with the oxen. And he says, no, this is not about me. This is about God's work through me. And then Naaman wants to take two uh, mule loads of clay, dirt, earth back home with him because as I know that I have to worship this God of Israel. And so he is filled with gratitude and he wants to remain faithful to God and work with God and be with God because he has been so blessed by God. And we have the 10 lepers in the gospel, but only one comes back to say thank you. And he was a Samaritan. In a certain sense, this is, these are hard kind of lessons for, for the Jewish people because neither Naaman nor the Samaritan leper were really integrated part of their people. And sometimes when we're blessed by many gifts, we take them for granted. We could even become, in a certain sense, haughty or arrogant. We could look down on others who don't have those gifts. And at the end, we could lose our gifts. It's also possible for us to lose our Christian faith. To walk that walk Always like Paul is encouraging Timothy. The Lord has revealed his salvation to the nations. That's our psalm today. And each nation brings its treasure, its gift to the Lord, its gift to humanity, the great communion of the saints, all of us together. What a great blessing. But then there are also challenges in coming together and living together and being together. You know, it's uh, sometimes a bit of a rocky road, not a nice green stairway. It's a little bit rocky and rough and obstacles along the way, storms on the sea. So what are the gifts you're thankful for today? And the gifts of God come through other people's efforts many times. Just imagine what our parents did for each of us washing our dirty clothes, cleaning our mouth, teaching us to clean our teeth, all the things of all the sectors of our lives, the pair, our parents set us up for life. 
how much gratitude to teachers who taught us how to write if we hadn't already learned it at home. And our high school teachers when our teenage years were troublesome and teaching us grammar and syntax and languages and science. And, and the people at work who taught us the processes at work, how to do it, how to deal in the social situation of working with the boss and with the colleagues and with the guy who was an alcoholic and learning charity and kindness. All of that and more. And doctors and nurses and people looking after our health. How much gratitude. People building the roads, providing the electricity systems that don't fall down at night time. So many people preparing our food, packaging it, delivering it, cooking it, serving it. So many people traveling, the entire army of people that runs the, the uh, all the airports, the flight systems, the building the airplanes, maintaining them. The, all the political people, sometimes we are always complaining about the corruption and all the difficulties, but how many are working tirelessly in so many offices around the world in municipalities and in governments and in agencies and in non-profits working for the common good. Thankfulness, 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 thankfulness. And the best thankfulness are deeds of gratitude. People, God bless you on this beautiful Sunday morning. See you later alligators. It's always a joy. May the Lord bless you and hold you and bring you joy and bring and you bring joy to many others today see you later alligators